The more people there are on Earth, the greater impact there will be. But because um, population growth takes place almost entirely amongst the world's poorest people, that's where the highest population growth rates are, and because the total impact of population is, uh, or the total impact rather, is, is population times affluence times technology, if the people whose numbers are rising are those with almost no affluence and almost no technology, their environmental impact is actually going to be very small. And as it happens, population growth seems to be remarkably grinding to a halt. It's becoming very close. It's now fallen to just 1%, um, uh, pretty well halved in just a few decades. And some people are now talking about peaking sort of 2060, 2070, and then, then declining. Of course, consumption shows no such trend. That's just rising and rising. Um, and yeah, as I say, there is there are impacts, but there's also it, it's obviously highly tempting for a lot of people to just use population as a way of pointing the finger to someone else and saying it's not me, it's not my fault, it's not all this consumption I'm doing. It's those people breeding. That's where the problem lies. And so how, how do you distinguish between someone with a genuine concern about population growth and someone who's just using it to uh, distract attention from their own impacts, e even if it's subconsciously? Well, in my view, it's pretty clear because the reason why population growth rates decline is that women have better opportunities. Um, education, better employment, um, other uh, other ways of of achieving um, social status, their, their place in society, than just having lo lots of children, and that is intimately connected with the distribution of wealth. In very poor places, women have very few opportunities. So, if you want to know whether someone is genuine about their concern for population, look at their record. Have they campaigned about? the extractive economy, which rips money out of poorer nations through um, leveraging, through debt, through trade agreements, through the exploitation of labor, through transfer pricing, through corporations not paying their taxes in the country of origin or anywhere, tax havens. Have they campaigned about that stuff? Have they, have they raised a stink about it? And if the answer is no, well, that's a pretty clear indication that they couldn't give a tinker's cuss about population except as a means of pointing the finger away from themselves, which I'm afraid happens again and again. And in fact, there is a population crisis. There's a genuine population crisis. But it's not the human population, which is the problem. It's the livestock population. Because while the human population is rising at roughly 1.05% 1 1 per year, the livestock population is rising at 2.4% a year. At current rates of growth by 2050, to put it in brutal terms, there'll be just over 100 million tons more human beings on Earth and 400 million tons more livestock on Earth. And those livestock will be fed on grain, will be fed on pulses, will be fed on stuff which is currently feeding human beings, or that there will be a massive expansion of agricultural land area into forests, into nature reserves, into the places put aside for nature in order to feed that livestock. That's the real population crisis. And that's why consuming less meat is one thing we genuinely can do, stop consuming altogether even better.